Hi, my name's Don Dubin. I'm Vice President of Chaffee County Search and Rescue South. I'm a longtime SAR member. I started with Vail Mountain Rescue back in the late 70s and have worked with lots of teams over the years. Uh, I retired here in Chaffee County seven years ago and joined the team that we're presently with. And we're making this video today to tell you about our drone program. Uh, we'd like to offer our services to any SAR teams that are out there. If you're in any stage of building a drone program or need any help, uh, we'd be glad to come meet with you and, and, and help you along the way. And also to offer our services for any mutual aid searches that you may have. Uh, we've got tens of thousands of dollars invested in this and hundreds of hours. We've made lots and lots of mistakes along the way and we're well positioned to help you not duplicate our mistakes. If your organizations are like ours, just keeping a qualified team up to speed on big wheels, GPS units, uh, avalanche beacons, whatever it may be, is a challenge alone. And the cost of the equipment is, is certainly expensive when you get into drones. We found as we started building our program is you got into the commercial drones that you really need to do the job and the complicated cameras that you really need to do the job. They're not user friendly. They take lots of firmware and software updates all the time. Uh, our team is a bunch of retired guys, so we <laughs> frankly have the time to spend on it. I think years ago uh, as a SAR member, I would have never been able to, to spend the amount of time it's taken. If you're not flying these drones once a week, or a couple times a month and familiar with the software and the firmware. When you do have a mission and you pull them off the shelf and you're ready to go, you're probably not going to be ready to go. Flying 10,000 feet up and from the trailheads that we have to start is really challenging. None of the automated software programs today work for us. Uh, we have to hand fly this, we have to understand GPS positioning, uh, how to use base maps when you have no internet connectivity at our trailheads and so Colorado 14,000 foot flying is certainly challenging. It may be a resource off the resource board as we use avalanche dogs or cadaver dogs or bring in helicopters. One place that I think every, every team will be able to use a drone uh, is a smaller Mavic drone uh, for searches on rivers are very easy. Uh, and I think anybody will be able to do that. It's when you get up into the high mountains on large searches where you need this commercial equipment. So we found that there's a chain of events here from your drone to your camera to the monitors that you're using. And in most cases, the weak link is an iPhone or an iPad that's very hard to see when you're outside. It's really imperative that you have some way of recording uh, what comes off those cameras and putting that into a big screen TV to review your footage. Looking at your iPad, you may fly right over the person you're looking for, but upon reviewing the footage in the trailer on the large screen TV, they become very easy to see. The real challenge that we didn't expect is the software and firmware that all this equipment takes. The amount of time to always be updating equipment and updating firmware and software is a real challenge. I certainly didn't do this alone. We're all very, very passionate. We have a core team of individuals. We're all incident commanders, longtime SAR members, pilots, commercial drone pilots, uh, and qualified with lots of certification. If you feel the need to use Chaffee County Search and Rescue, we'll be able to show up with a full command center uh, we have a trailer outfitted with uh, high-resolution TVs, several commercial drones, several cameras, a team of people that knows how to work the equipment and fly the drones to help you in your search. If we show up for a large search, we'll come with several drones all equipped for different purposes. Uh, the first drone that we will send out is this Matrice 210. As you can see here, it has two cameras. One is a forward-looking infrared camera, and the other camera you're looking at there is a Z30 30 zoom camera. That will be the first drone that's, that we sent out looking with the infrared uh, for the lost party. Once located, we will switch to the Z30 camera. And when I say switch, that's just with the same drone. I can just push a button and we'll zoom down and look at the person that we uh, make sure it's the lost party. At that point, we mark a GPS location and another pilot instantly sends out a smaller drone that allows us to actually talk to somebody. Hello, this is Jake County Search and Rescue. Are you Dick Eustace? If so, please tap your head. We'll 
ask them if they're okay. They will tap their head or give us some sign of what they need. Great, Dick. Stand by and another drone will bring you a radio. And then we actually have a third drone where we can now send out uh, a deployment system to deploy a first aid kit, a bottle of water, or a necessary radio for communications. So there's two other areas that we found that drones really shine. One could be for a night search. Uh, we've outfitted our Mavic uh, with a large spotlight and we're able to find a lost victim at night. And the other is clearing dangerous areas. Here in Chaffee County on Mount Shavano, we have McCoy Gulch, one of our dangerous areas. We have to search three to four times a year, rappelling down very dangerous waterfall areas, looking for lost parties. Our drones allow us to go up there safely and inspect the entire area without ever putting boots on the ground. As I mentioned earlier, uh, it's pretty cool. We had some guys in Hollywood make, make us a special deployment system. And as you can see here, we're deploying a radio that's wrapped in a small stuff sack. So as always with anything on the Colorado's Research Board, it doesn't cost a, a penny to call us. We'd love to come to any of your meetings and trainings and talk to you about our drone program at any time. If you're building a drone program uh, and you'd just like some advice or know the mistakes that we've made and we can help you and, and guide you in any sort of, sort of way, uh, we're putting this out there. We love what we do. Uh, we're search and rescue guys. So thanks for watching. If we can help you in any way, please reach out. Keep us in mind.